Master, I have, I have been initiated for nine years. When I met you, my life changed to a happy life. Sometimes, when I practice the sound meditation, I feel a pressure on my chest, and I feel as if I am going to die. Do I have to stop meditating on the sound? When I do meditation on the light, sometimes I feel my head moving. What can I do? Do not pay attention to any bodily sensation. Continue to meditate. If the pressure on the chest is too unbearable, you try to concentrate on the wisdom center. And if it's too much unbearable still, you just relax for a while, recite the five names, and go back to the meditation on the sound again. It's no problem. It's just your soul is struggling to get out. And uh, you still have some uh, hindrance. So it will be better in the future. Restaurant is only like a job, yeah? Like a job. It's not for you to forget to meditation. Understand? If you have job or to do anything for the world, you must meditate more. At least four hours, five hours, six hours. So if you cannot do that, then you'll be in trouble. All right? So meditation is more important than anything else for you, okay, and for the world. So if you can do your job and meditate at the same time, it's good. And vegetarian shop or anything are just only job also. But this is a job that benefits the world, okay? Yes. So don't think just a vegetarian house and give people to eat vegan, that's enough. It's not like that, yeah? Your real job is meditation at all times. There is something I want to share with you. <clears throat> but these things I have told you a lot of times, but since some of you seems not to have understood or not to remember, I try to remind you again about how to sit in a better, peaceful meditation. Number one, you meditate in group. You do, you do group meditation, either in your house or in the center, the official center. It's always helpful when you sit together in meditation. To some of you, if you find sitting face to face uh, more strong or more assuring, then you should, could do that. And before that, you should wash your face with cool water. Then you'll be more awakened during meditation. And before washing face, you, or after washing face, you could uh, walk around for a while, preferably in the fresh air. For many of you, my teaching verbally is still very, very um, useful. So please try to watch more video, listen more to the tapes, and put them into practice. The reason many of you don't have the desired result in meditation because you do not put my teaching into practice. Many times I've seen that. And if you should have any obstruction at home, like you feel some uh, invisible being disturbs you, and that you could not meditate very well, you feel restless, agitated, you have two kinds of uh, solution. You can put uh, my tapes, a chanting tape, or music tape, a teaching tape in the background. Not at the back of your ground, but you know, <laughs> a low volume in front of you, not at the back. Never put anything behind your back, because your attention will be pulled backward. It will be more difficult for you to concentrate in the front. Understand? Not that you, don't, you cannot do it, it is just not uh, favorable for you. Put the tape of TV, everything in the front, or music, whatever you want to hear, anytime. Even if you hear the telephone or fax machine, anything, just in case you, know, you have to sit in the office, 
a face machine <laughs> in case it rings, it rings in front of you. <laughs> Don't pull your attention backward because that will be, you know, very difficult to pull it back to the front again. And if you listen to the phone, listen with the right ear. Make it a habit. Don't listen to the left ear. Everything that pull attention to the left or to behind of you is no advantageous to you. Remember. And that is the one thing. Another thing, you can recite the five names loudly for as long as is necessary, or an hour, huh? every day, until the situation improved. That's another um, prevention method for you. Another kind, you can, if you are fearful, sometimes you feel invisible being around you or behind you, or you have been possessed before you came to me, and you're still fearful, then you can put my picture around it, around yourself, like a circle. You have a l- plenty of picture. Don't have to be big, just small. My size enough. <laughs> it's not the size that counts. <laughs> it's a <the> person. <clears throat> Even small picture, just make a circle around you. That's why the 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 Buddhist. Uh, that's, that is the leftover for the Tibetan tradition, for the mandala. They always draw the circle. That was the beginning of it, when the teacher teach them to, to sit in the circle, yeah, with some of the artifacts that the Master have blessed and give to them for souvenir, and full of Master love and blessing. I just surrounded them. And then later they're a bit more fanciful, you know, <laughs> they're adding all kinds of things, and flower, incense, and stuff, and sand, and color, and blah, 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 blah. You can do anything else you want, as long as you feel good, yeah? As long as you feel safe, secure, and protected. You put my picture around it, put flower as well if you want incense or whatever, candles also, but then don't make too much smoke when you cough all the time, <laughs> because the incense and the smoke from the candles, even though it's romantic and uh, it, sound, it looks spiritual uh, many a times, it could cause you irritation. And then uh, you will have a sore throat or some uh, congestion in the chest later, and it's a long-term <coughs> uh, side effect. No good. Huh? Okay? But if you can tolerate it, it's okay. I don't forbid anything in our practice, as long as it makes you feel good. You could even make a bead or recite or a rosary, whatever. But then you become too much attached to that beads and that habit, and then you forget to concentrate here, and it's difficult to call back again. Because every day we already attached too much to the outside world. You understand? Yeah. But in the morning we get up, we have to wash our face, clean our teeth, and look, make up, and you know, put tight on, and all that. So it's already too materially conscious. Then in the job we have to conscious on money, and then go home still think of money. Remember? Yeah. So every day we meditate on either woman, man, ties, jewelry, makeup, or woman, or money already. <laughs> so when we have time for ourselves to meditate, I have, uh, or any master, you know, I just learn it from them. <laughs> okay? When I say I, it's just a habit. <laughs> we. <laughs> we should, you know, we should put our attention inward. That's why. Not that any master, or I myself for that reason, forbid you to do this, do that, because we're fanatic, because we're authoritative. It's not true. Understand now? Yeah? When we, ourselves, we should just forget everything else. Just concentrate the inside the wisdom center. Actually, when you look with the wisdom eye, it's, it's inside. And be, 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 besides, we're not inside, we're not outside, we're not anywhere. So it's just a matter of speaking, so you know how to do it physically. Otherwise, when you close your eyes, you shut your ears, and then everything else is inside. Then you are no contact with the physical world that much. That's why. That's why you be inside and be alone with yourself, and then know yourself, realize yourself again, that you are the Spirit, that you are God, that you are the Buddha. And that's why all the rosary and the beads and all that, at that time, it would be more detrimental, more obstructing, to our concentration. It's not that it's no good. Everything reminds you of God is good. A picture, a rosary, a cross, a Buddha statue, anything welcome. Except when you meditate, it is better to put out everything, absolutely, because you are the Buddha, you are the cross, you are God. There is no need <laughs> any other reminder stuff. 
But the mandala is just to protect you. Suppose when sometimes some of the people, rare, some rare individual, have fear of the invisible being that disturbed them before, and uh, the haunted memory still disturbed them, or fear of darkness, then that's why in the, in the old time they light a candle to meditate, so that person don't feel fearful. So sometimes I advise some of you to can leave the light on, and that's all right. But it doesn't mean that we have to do it all the time, or everybody has to do it. But then one learns from another and says, Oh, I feel good after the candle is on and all that. And everybody does that. It just become a habit. It should not be that way. When you sit, you be alone. No need any artifact. No need candle, no need flower, no need incense. Everything is distracting you anyhow. The, 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 the candle flicker, 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 flicker. <laughs> the incense, the smell, and the atom. <laughs> <laughs> and then you sit there and you think, hmm, this is frankincense. I, I don't like it. I like sandalwood wood better. And then, <laughs> and, you, and then you argue with yourself back and forth, and then, and then oh, two hours gone. Yeah, next time you put some other flower, oh, rose. That's really, I'm allergic to rose. I prefer chrysanthemum, and blah, blah, blah. And then you spend all the time going out and buy chrysanthemum, just because a neighbor told you that when he meditated, he put chrysanthemum and looked like Master came, and it feels so good, and I meditate better. Da, da, da. You know, it, blind faith is a detrimental. It's detrimental to your practice. Everything everyone tells you, including my speech, you should prove it. You should, uh, uh, you know, you should analyze it, whether it is logical before you accept it. You can also massage your wisdom eye with a little oil, you know, or alone. If it's too dry, then with the oil it goes smoother. This also helps with the wrinkle, I guess. <laughs> Some old person like me, <laughs> I don't do it often, okay? Just do it during makeup. If you have difficulty in concentration, you could massage a little like this with your thumb or with your fingers, huh? Uh, up to the wisdom eye like this here, and then you stop it right there, you know, for a while. Stop like this, or you just mas massage it, then stop it. It would make uh, things a lot easier for me if, if I could actually enjoy meditating, which oh. I really don't. I do it because I know I have to. Wow. Uh, but I, and I see everybody enjoying meditation well, a lot, and I don't, so. Well, nobody forces you to. I know, but I want to do it. I then don't do it. Uh, that means you want to. I want to do it, but it is really hard for me to do it. It seems too long, and okay. it seems like I can't concentrate. Okay. And I just, <laughs> like, when the time is up, I'm ready to get up. I'm oh. really not enjoying it, and I see everybody does. Oh, I don't know. Well, you ask them why. Why do they enjoy so much? Why do they enjoy so much? Huh? Feel closer to God? Wow, that's cool, that's cool. Mm, maybe you're a little bit far still, huh? Mm. Do you have anyone to meditate with you at home? Yes. Yes? Okay. i tell you what, then maybe don't meditate. It's not an obligation. If you don't enjoy take a vacation from God, just say, Oh, I take off for one month, how about that? You like that? Well, I've done that. And then? Still don't, don't work? Uh, so what do you do? Sit there and think, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> you think too much. Maybe, okay, sit there. If you're tired, lay down and sit back again. Lay down. Just enjoy it as a rest, okay? Just like a rest. Don't think that is a work. Because, uh, for example, if all day long you work, huh? you're tired, no? So the time of meditation is really precious. It's your time that you know this is my time, you know. I sit there and refill my tank. Okay, so the time of meditation is really a time you refill your own tank. So you don't think whether you have result or success. You just sit there and relax, relax and rest. You see? That's all you do, okay? And if you couldn't meditate much, you could read a little book, you know, from the, uh, the book, yeah, spiritual book, for a while, until you're ready to meditate, yeah? Or listen to some, some tape that you like to, for a while, until you're ready, and then you close your eyes, you listen and sit there at the same time. You see, because sometimes you probably also need to listen to something, and you don't have time to concentrate on what you're listening. Or maybe music even, you know, soothing music, classical music. 
I just leave it on the background, you know, and listen to it. Some people, they do that as a relaxation. And you do that also as a relaxation, so you can hi like have a break of everyday routine so to, to, to make you feel better the next time, you know, the, after that. I don't think it's a working, it's for you to enjoy. You listen to music and just close your eyes and repeat the five names now and then. You see? It's not hard, don't force yourself. Listen to music, read a little book, listen to tape, yeah? Any of your favorite. And then close your eyes, repeat the five names at the same times. Because we can do many things at once, at, uh, together, yeah? So you just think it's a time for you to enjoy whatever you select. Okay, and meditation is just, you know, together. How about that? Huh? Would that make you feel better? Yeah. You know, sometimes I go to the movies and meditate there. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. I say, oh, whatever going on there, you know, because sometimes the movies I know already, oh, I'm bored with the movie, I just sit there and meditate. And they do their job, I do my job, and my mind thinks that I'm going to the movies and he's happy. <laughs> yes, so no problem. Hey, take it easy. Is, is that a deal? It's okay? Yeah. Thank you. You select what you like for that time, yeah? Maybe today I want to sit, just think of God, think of all the beautiful saints of the past, or think of Master, think of, uh, you know, whatever beautiful things that you had the whole day or the past, and start with that. Remember beautiful things, and then thank God for what you have had, and what you are having, and what you will have, and start with that, and then just let it go. Hmm? Yeah, it's time for you to rest and think of what you want to think, do what you want to do, listen to what you like to listen. Hmm? Just like sometimes people drive car and listen to tape. Hello, everyone. I'm going to be happy. I don't know why I'm 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 happy. I 就整天睡觉，起来就不高兴，能够这样睡觉就很好了。不做家务，家庭主妇，那你这么好运啊！我连现在家也没有。OK， 那有时候你睡觉的时间不对，懂吗？嗯，比方说那个时候大，呃。突然，呃，那个世界影响了 ，OK。如果睡觉，比方说中午睡太多，我是下午那十天，人家那个时候很烦闷了，整个世界了，懂不懂？烦闷了。然后你睡觉的时候就没有那种抵抗力了，了解？啊，他们就会攻击了，那种气氛会攻击你。所以，呃，想睡觉的时候，如果能够忍耐的话。就不要睡那个时候 ，OK？ 啊，然后在那边尽量打坐，而不是睡觉。啊，打坐完以后，如果还很累就可以睡 ，OK？ 哦，哎，这样就不会被那种气氛包围，然后攻击，了解？哦，是这样的。哎嘿嘿，有时候我们呃，大家一样了，不是你了啊。我是像那个刚才那个小孩子问那个东西了，有时候累了，然后睡了，或是想就被那个世界那种气氛了攻击的，才觉得恐慌或是空白。OK， 那马上再打坐就好了，不然的话去做什么了？如果不能打坐，那个时候就去做别事情啊，解闷啊，去吃你最喜欢吃的东西也好了，不不要那么严格严肃了。OK， 吃你最喜欢的，我说是。跟你或是跟你最好的朋友聊一聊啦，或是跟说你信任的同事聊一聊这样子。如果不然的话，看师傅影片，如果还能够的话，再解闷一下。好 ，OK， 师姐也是一样 ，OK。嗯、知道怎么回事啊？就这样子，睡起来也是感觉不高兴。知道了，知道了。<笑>不要睡。<笑>比方说你经常中午有睡觉，了解吗？然后起来不好，就比如说,说那个时候，最好不要睡觉，打坐 ，OK？ 打坐完以后还累的话，还睡一下，懂吗？那个时候最小已经有保